Well, tonight is the night. Game of Thrones returns to HBO for its eighth and final season. Even if you haven't kept up with the show since it debuted in 2011, there's been no avoiding the cultural phenomenon based on the books of George R.R. R. Martin. The epic fantasy has given us the now iconic warning, winter is coming, and jaw-dropping scenes like the Red Wedding. At the center of the series is the heroic Jon Snow, played by Kit Harington. Believe it or not, Game of Thrones was the first on-screen role of Harrington's career. Nearly a decade later now, the 32-year-old is a star around the world and married, as of last year, to Rose Leslie, whom he met in a fight scene on the show. Kit and I got together here in New York this week for a Sunday sit-down and a game of pool. This is what the segment should be, just this whole game. Ooh. Just quickly, if you could, Kit, recap the first seven seasons for me. Just 30 seconds or so. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> no, I'd actually try and do that. Uh, there was one king who died. There were then multiple kings who fought. To disrupt that, uh, the ultimate king himself, the Night King, came and attacked seven kingdoms, which forced the rest of those kings and um, remaining power imbalances to unite and go against him. That was incredible. 30 seconds on the nose for Game of Thrones star Kit Harington to summarize a series that took 10 years to film. Over the course of eight seasons now, Harrington's character, Jon Snow, has gone from the bastard of Winterfell. Uh, run to the litter. That one's yours, Snow. <laughs> to a king fighting for the realm. I just read somewhere on the way over that they're expecting a billion people to watch. Rose told me that, and I went, oh, right, great. And then I actually thought about it in bed and went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like this, she woke up in terror. Long before Harrington became Jon Snow, he was a boy growing up in London and then Worcestershire. The son of a playwright and a businessman, Harrington was turned on to acting after seeing a performance of Waiting for Godot. I found it, it was so funny, it was so moving. I think somewhere then, at the age of 13, I was like, I want to do that. So there was never a chance you'd be anything other than an actor, as you look back on it. I think I wanted to be a journalist or something. I was like, there's got to be another option of career here that means I won't end up destitute. While still in college studying drama, Harrington won the lead in the West End hit, War Horse. So join the army, join the smiles. Young man. The role helped him to land an audition for Game of Thrones. One of the big parts was Jon Snow, and I remember reading it and going up for it, knowing somewhere inside me that this was in the canon of work I could do. The show's producers agreed, and Harrington won the job. He was just 22 years old when the show's pilot was filmed. Go on, father's watching. To illustrate just how young you were when you got the part, I have a photograph that you may have seen do you recognize the gentleman on the right there? I've seen that. Well, you see, I've just shaved, so I'm, I look more like him than I usually would. 22. You when look you look at Maisie and Sophie, that's yeah. amazing. When you look back at those faces and, and that time, what do you think about? I guess that photo there is my first experience with any kind of, I guess, notoriety or fame. I remember being really excited by that and probably ringing my mum about it or something. That clean-shaven look didn't last long, as Kit spent most of his 20s donning a beard, long hair, and of course, that cloak. I think the, the one from the Night's Watch got fleas, <laughs> so they had to change up. I imagine it's a little gamey after a decade. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snow fought in epic battles. He died, and then, spoiler alert, came back to life <laughs> to survive even more epic battles. He's just that dogged warrior who gets knocked down and then picks himself back up. The Game of Thrones cast is sworn to secrecy about season eight, but word is out about the Battle of Winterfell when a group of former enemies unite to fight the Night King. It's expected to be one of the longest, most intense battle sequences ever on screen. It was 55 night shoots. You know, you're not meant to work at night for that long. But when we came out of it the other end, I think we all knew that we 
probably were sitting on something quite special. Kidd is careful not to reveal any spoilers, but he did let down his guard briefly for one wardrobe question. In these, these wintry, freezing cold, now at night battles like Winterfell, John never wears a hat. Has he ever considered wearing a hat in battle? No, his hair is too important. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. I remember asking for a hat once. And when we were in Iceland, I was like, can I not just wear a hat? We're in minus 40. <laughs> and they were like, mm, we've got a kind of brand now that we need to <laughs> <laughs> look after. But I'm not a star. Are you happy with the way Jon Snow's story ends? I'm satisfied. Hmm with how they finished my storyline, the storyline of Thrones, but you cannot satisfy everyone. As Kit leaves behind the cloak and beard, he's moving on with his favorite Game of Thrones character at his side. You know nothing, Jon Snow. And you've said for all the great things that came out of this show, by far the best is that you met your wife on this show. I mean, what more could I ask? That's right? it. Yeah. And not everyone meets his wife chasing her down a snowy mountainside and ending up with a knife to yeah. her throat in a scene. Yeah. It happens that we met in the show, and we've always tried not to be defined by that a bit. It's just a job we met on. Um, and I think once the, the show finishes, we get to kind of break free of it yeah. a bit and just be us, which is a really nice feeling. There is only one war that matters, the Great War. Have you begun to give thought about what's next for you? I did a play recently. I did a play called True West right. in, in, on the West End. He started pouring forth his vast knowledge of cinema. And it really reminded me of my love for theatre. Um, so I fully intend to be doing more of that. Whatever comes next for Kit Harrington, he knows full well Game of Thrones will be hard to beat. Thrones, it's given me possibly my future family. It's given me my wife. It's given me friends for life. It's got me a character I love. I will love more than any other character I'll ever play. There isn't any way of saying thank you to it enough. There never will be. And, and I think that comes back to the question about how do you feel now it's finishing. Well, there aren't words to describe how I feel about it. The eighth and final season of Game of Thrones, as if you need me to tell you, premieres tonight at 9 o'clock on HBO. Our thanks to the Library Bar at the Hudson Hotel for hosting that conversation. And for the record, I won our pool game only because Kit scratched on the eight ball. But a win is a win, Jon Snow. To hear Kit tell me whether he's told anyone how Game of Thrones ends, check out our web extras at today.com slash Sunday. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the entire unedited interview with Kit Harrington. You can find it on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours.